Isn't it interesting that if you look at your life, all of us, as though it is art, right? How many relationships turn out to be problematic and we should just not keep adding them to the art? Or how many times maybe is there an opportunity that we talk ourselves out of maybe because we're insecure about something or we convince ourselves that we don't have time but look at it in hindsight and go wow I really wish I would have done that like for example if you listened to someone else and didn't go to the school you went to nutrition um, movement all of these are like our paint brush like our paint strokes or, on our life yeah, or, or colors in the palette yeah absolutely because you know every one of them is an expression of the art of living. Mm -hmm. You know, if you're not paying attention to your diet, that's like an artist who's uh, not paying attention to what brush they're using. And if you're using a fat brush when you need a thin one, you're gonna make a mess. So it's, it's really an amazing proposition to look at life literally as divine art. But then it's even more amazing when you realize that Great Spirit is handing you the paintbrush every day and saying, Jonathan, help me mm -hmm. bring something beautiful into the world. And that, that, that's the same thing that's being said to all of us. Bring something beautiful into the world. Our children are our art. So there you see the art of parenting. And then we have the art of our vocation. We have the art of our, our gardens or the, the way we decorate our home or uh, how we take care of our bodies or how we fill or not fill our minds and what we put in our head i mean really if you think of mind as a canvas a lot of people just put a pile of shit in there and don't even edit the art